because food shouldn't be a luxury. We're all just so unsure about where money and where resources are gonna come from. And the one thing that we all know at the end of the day is that we're gonna be hungry. Like, I believe should just be free. Take what you need, you leave what you can't. Be mutual aid for everyone within the community to provide for each other. I am Ashley Sabino. I am the community fridge host for Bedford Park Community Fridge. I've lived in the Bronx my entire life. I grew up with a very tight-knit family. My grandmother was the babysitter for everyone within the building. Food was the way that she showed love. Um, so whether it was someone just passing through or someone that really needed food, it was always, hey, come in, I have a hot meal for you. A food desert is an urban area in which it's difficult to get high nutritious valued food, um, whether it be because of location, access to those things. The Bronx particularly has all of those issues. For me, it was just about creating spaces where food is accessible in the places that it needs to be accessible. Growing up, it was so focused and based around community and the older we got, I think, we lost a little bit of that like family niche touch and that we have to really make time to engage with each other, make time to connect with each other because removing that connection can kind of stifle us. I was unemployed for six months. If I wasn't receiving money, then looking at families around me, I'm like, well, how are you feeding your family? The fridge was just this tactile way to bring food to communities without having any restrictions or anything to go through. It's just open a fridge and grab what you need. So I started just scouting my local bodegas and just being like, hey, I have this idea. Would you want to host a free fridge outside of your business? A community fridge is a mutual aid fridge for your community. Everyone that's able to pass by, whether it be the postman, yourself, a neighbor, if you want to leave something in the fridge, you just open up the fridge, leave whatever you'd like, take what you need, leave what you don't. So I put recipes occasionally on the fridge so people can just take recipes for the things that they're not really sure about. And then also feeding the fridge with a lot of things that they do know, like yuca, platano, um, yautia, auyama. We've gotten some really cute post-it notes or little notes that I got on the fridge of just like, we love this. There was another one the other day that said, I love broccoli. So shortly after starting the fridge, I'll say it's probably like the next morning. So I got down there and someone had left this like cute little, like a cake mix. And then I turned the cake mix over and it's like a note and it's just like, I hope you make cake. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, that's so sweet. Like, I think for me, it just solidified the community that I have around me. Like, I feel like I've opened up a whole new sector of my life to new people. And just really relearning to, ha like, to have conversations with everyone that's around you, whether you realize that they're paying attention to you or not. Like, just a good morning goes a long way, a good night, a good afternoon, how you're doing, a check-in. As I say, the fridge is like my check-in. It's been really nice. My vision of the future would be the community fridges being fed through community gardens, and then eventually the community gardens feeding a food co-op for the community. That's, that's my big dream. <laughs>